What is going on, y'all? So we are actually headed to Walmart. We just got out of the gym, got a little lift in, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick up some baits. I'm thinking we'll do like a little $15 budget fishing challenge. Um, I want to stay true to $15, and um, the baits we get, you know, I want to get a kind of a variety of some soft plastics, uh, some moving baits, you know, and. Uh, you know, it'll be fun. I think it'll be a cool little challenge. I haven't done a Walmart fishing challenge yet. Um, I will see you guys once we get into Walmart and go ahead and pick out some of those baits. All right, y'all, so we're in Walmart. We're gonna do a little $15 budget fishing challenge. So let's see what we can get in here. All right, so first thing that I see here is these $2 rattle traps and the gold and then and this kind of like ghost. So they're 215 each. Let's get one of these spinner baits. I like this white one right here. So we're at like about $7. Let's pick out uh, some soft plastics. Um, let's go ahead and get fancy. Let's get some Yamamoto's. The water I'm fishing, let's try these out. So, that's gonna be another five bucks, so we're at like $12. So let's pick out one more, if we got anything to zoom. Maybe get a paddle tail here. We'll get these white paddle tails, it'll be a good trailer shutter swimmer those are three bucks so we should have between the Sankos spinnerbait and two crankbaits it should be perfect so we are headed out to Lake T I got off of work early so we are gonna go ahead and do the Walmart budget challenge as you guys saw we went into Walmart we picked up $15 of gear and uh, I think the baits that I got are gonna be really good. So I'll see you guys on the water. We'll get the kayak in and we'll start fishing. All right, y'all, so we are out here on the water. We're rigged up, we got the lipless on. It is super windy out here. Look, definitely some chop on the water, but we're gonna go ahead and throw the lipless to start. And then we'll probably work the spinner bait because it's super windy. Water clarity is not good. I really wish I had a chatter bait on me. That would be awesome. But we got the crankbait, the lipless. Maybe I'll try the swim bait. Um, I have that stick bait, but I really think I'm only going to be able to use that if we kind of get out of the wind. So we're going to see what happens. Let's just get to fishing. You can't catch fish without fishing. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing started and see what we can do let the walmart challenge begin so i don't really want to put on the uh the live scope i kind of want to try to just fish and if we uh you know need or decide to put it on we'll put it on but just because i got live scope doesn't mean that that's what i'm going to do is be staring at a screen the whole time i fish I want to hone my skills. I want to be a better fisherman, you know, but I also want to use the tools that are available, which I think live scopes, one of the best tools you can have. But like I said, I'm not trying to sit there and stare at a screen the whole time. Now if the bike gets tough and I'm having some issues and I can't figure things out for sure. We're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll turn on the live scope or you know, if we don't get a bite for a while, we gotta try to figure something out. And this is a tool that helps you achieve that. So right now though, it's really windy. We're doing the Walmart challenge. The one thing that I was concerned about with using this lipless was the hooks on it. But these laser um, sharp, um, Eagle Claw laser sharp, they don't seem too bad. I mean, they don't seem the greatest, but also they don't seem horrible. So looks like we're gonna be fighting some serious wind. 
Um, it's a good thing I have the XI3 on and the wind's blowing this way. So for some reason it stops working, we're on the other side of the lake. You know, we can kind of get blown right back over here pretty easily. So is that a fish? No, thought it was a fish. Thought we had something here. But yeah, it's a beautiful uh, Friday evening. It's just uh, really, I mean, this wind is definitely, uh, this wind is no bueno. And uh, kind of get out of this wind. But this, this bank is a really good bank for bait. So I would assume that we would be able to get us onto some fish over here. We'll fish the lipless for a little while and then I'll switch over to that um, spinner bait. I feel like the spinner bait's a good bait. Flashy, um, good in these kind of windy situations. It's a big fish catcher, so I, uh, I think the spinner bait will be pretty good. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna find out. Oh wow, that felt like a fish. We definitely got bumped there. There it is. Wow. This is a bass. It is a freaking, I think it's a gar. Yeah. It's a freaking big old talapayer. I don't want you going into my freaking. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me hooked. Let's just get this. Let's just get you in the net. Wow, you worked yourself out, my guy. Atta boy. There you go, bud. What? Okay, he's out. Wow. Yeah, that. That's a good way to sucky start. Can't say that enough. So one thing I did notice on the... Uh, live scope that kind of showed me is I don't let my bait get down far enough. Oh, dude, we just got dotted, boy. Oh my God, it came off. I loosened the drag up whenever I hooked into that. Sit in, I've caught a bunch of fish fishing down in this little hump here <sighs> but we we need to start catching them for the tournament we gotta at least get like today i'd like to be at five fish right now we're at two. Oh man i don't know man maybe these hooks aren't as good i mean they felt all right but, oh, dude, that's not good. Whatever, here. Casting the freaking drag off of this thing. There we go, there's a fish. It feels good. 
dude it pulled off again holy crap man this thing oh man well this is what happens whenever you do a walmart fishing challenge dude we've gotten a bunch of fish on this they like the color but dude you gotta spend the extra money and change the hooks on this thing because that's two fish now that we've definitely lost that felt decent Holy. so uh, here's my first take though for this challenge is like this bait is actually really good i mean it's getting more bites than most of my crankbaits that i use um i mean the conditions are really good for this though right now but um the big uh negative setback right now is the hook the hooks are just bad i thought they were sticky but they're not they're not keeping these fish pinned at all so far literally every one other than that tilapia which the tilapia was like the ideal like i mean he was pinned pinned with that one hook so here the entire time doing a challenge and just fish this crankbait right under the boat dude that's actually not a bad bass I'll get, get, in the, get, in the, get in the net all right that's actually going to be a good measurable fish I'm trying to get this as easy out of you my guy as possible without jacking you up oh man why did that have to do that? Whatever, let's just go like this. Fifteen and a half, it's not horrible, but not not ideal for us either though you know that's fine that's a uh fish on the board and i was just slow slow rolling that baby in so one of my stick bait or one of my baits i picked and i kind of i could have got more baits which maybe i should have got like a chatter bait but i wanted to get some sort of plastic so I wanted, honestly, I wanted to get a Yamamoto that was like a black and blue or just some sort of like black and red. They didn't have any, but I do know that this color, even though this water is really stained, this little chartreuse tail is like lethal. And yeah, you can semi see it in here. So, I mean, you could still kind of see it in the water, but that chartreuse tail just pops so much, it drives a freaking bass crazy. Another one that's really good is the black and blue, but the black and blue that has the, um, the full on blue tail is another really, really good bait. I've noticed that does really well. So, I went out on a limb here because we were going to get just like a June bug stick bait, but I kind of wanted to fish. Yeah, there's a little visibility of this bait though, so it's not too horrible. But that, um, I went out on a limb going with the chartreuse versus picking up like a June bug color for this stained water. I 
All right, let's do this. Something's just giving me spinnerbait vibes, even though the water is extremely calm over here. I'm just getting, getting really strong spinnerbait vibes. I mean, honestly though, it is kind of a thing though. Spinner baits and cypress trees, I feel like just go together. I mean, it's still swimming pretty good. All right, y'all, so we fished the Yamamoto Sanko and some of these cypress trees, just didn't really have any luck. And um, we fished a spinnerbait a little bit, so I'm trying to go back into the wind. And this little cove right here just looks really juicy for a uh, little crankbait bass. So we're gonna throw that crankbait on again and uh, try to get one in here. I think this is gonna be a good spot for us. So we'll see, y'all stay tuned. A lot of leaves and stuff on the bottom, so I'm not a huge fan of it, but. There we go. Oh no, dude. No, we, we just can't do that, man. We had another freaking fish on and we lost it with this crank, dude. I don't know. I think we gotta, I think we gotta ixnay this crank, unfortunately. Wow, on the drop, y'all. On the drop, we got hit. It feels decent. Oh, it's a gar. Dude, just take my kite bait, you bastard. Honestly. Bro, honestly. I was like, honestly, bro, just take it. Dude, I was like on the drop. I was like, that was wild. Come on, come on. Oh, wow. It's a freaking giant, I bet. Either a gar or a daggum. That ain't no bet. What is it? Dude, these tilapia are killing me, bro. These tilapia kill me. Dude, stop. Jeez. That's a good way to get a hook in myself. Holy crap. It's a freaking one of those. A, oh no, that's a bass. It's a, a freaking monster. Oh my god. That is a freaking dump truck. Dude, look at how he 
dude, he inhaled. Dude, this one's not even in his mouth. Four six. All right, buddy. Let's get you back in. All right, four six. Let's get you back in, my guy. All right, y'all. That's gonna be it. That's a wrap for the day. So uh, we honestly, I can't say that we were a hundred percent truthful with the challenge because we switched to that booyah um, one knocker. But the freaking the Walmart lipless, I'm impressed on how many fish it actually got to bite. Like that is a lot more crankbait bites than I've ever gotten out here, even on like the exact same conditions. But the negative of it is that those hooks sucked. So we lost like quite a few fish, some good ones too. So unfortunately, you know, you win some, you lose some and, and that one really stings. But overall, I thought it was fun. I mean, we tried to get them on the, the Senko, but that stick bait, you know, the water clarity was already not good in here. And I didn't expect it to be this windy and churning up the sediment and stuff. So you could barely see that bait in the water. Whereas a clearer day, you could probably I'd probably get some bites on it. It just wasn't the conditions. And then the spinner bait, I mean, we tried. I really thought we had a good chance of getting one on the spinner bait, but unfortunately we ran out of time. So, hey, we, uh, we did all right though. I mean, we caught a four pounder. We caught one that was like 15 inches, but we really should have had at least like six or seven fish. But I mean, that shows you the testament of how good that lipless, that Walmart $2 lipless is, if you put some good owner hooks or um, put some like, you know, trocar hooks on it or something, man, I think that thing could be pretty lethal. Um, I think it would do a lot better, but those just, I don't know, they say they're laser eagle claw, but they were not that sharp. And like, I don't know, you buy like those hooks, the Walmart laser, the eagle claws, I think they're pretty good and those ones just seem really just dull. So that's been the telltale of the day is just dull hooks, which you expect from a Walmart bait that costs $2. So um, you improve the hook, so the hookup ratio is better and I think we do extremely well in this challenge. But um, that's gonna do it, y'all. Um, the code word for today is gonna be uh, hooks because my hooks were bad. But uh, if we had better hooks, I think things today would have went better. We're gonna get back out here tomorrow and maybe Sunday. I think I'm gonna try a new lake. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and uh, until next time y'all, peace. Yeah, dude, where's my, and, uh, and then, <laughs> and then. Oh, no and then. And then. 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 No and then. And then.